the the second dynamic um, that that we've noticed is is that sometimes people say no 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 I love one exchange and I'm going to go to a single exchange to get that data only from there. That's an extremely worrying dynamic because now you've just compounded the problem. You you've created less market coverage, and anybody that's running a system with with that approach to market coverage is taking significant risks, especially volatility goes up or down. So if, if there is no huge price changes, then perhaps it seems like it's working. But in, in situations where price discovery starts to shift or volume starts to shift or volatility grows, you, you certainly can have a scenario where you appreciate market coverage very quickly, but you can't attain it because you're only connected to a single data source. It's, uh, it's quite a serious problem. Um, the other large risk is that, that that single price data source can then be manipulated. So if an exchange has a token market and that market becomes thinly traded and that's the only exchange you pull data from, it, it, that might work for one or two of the pairs that are widely traded and highly traded on that exchange. But if it's a pair that's thinly traded, then um, you've, you've opened up a huge attack vector. And, and this is something that we completely avoid in our system and we suggest to everybody to avoid uh, whether they use our system or not. But if people are worried about this, then they should talk to us and, and we have uh, an, uh, some amount of expertise on this. Anybody architecting a system this way at the time, they're opening uh, themselves up to, to huge volatility risk to have inaccurate prices on their system, which can allow theft and loss of funds and, and the failure of the platform. And, and then they're opening themselves up to another very, very simple attack where all somebody needs to do is manipulate a thinly traded market, which realistically you don't even need experience coding to do. You just you just end up putting in a bunch of orders in a certain manner and, and you manipulate that price and, and then you can manipulate the 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 outcome in, in the underlying application. So it's 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 really a design pattern that I I really, really wish people would stop uh, doing. And if they want to stop doing it quickly, they're they're welcome to work with us and and, and we're glad to help them with that.